A simple way to understand chemical bonding and its types. Do atoms exist? Yes, but atoms of most elements are not able to exist independently. Atoms form molecules and ions. These molecules or ions aggregate in large numbers to form the matter that we can see, feel or touch. We have seen the relationship between electronic configuration and valency of an element in the previous uploaded video. A simple way to understand and memorize the valency of first 20 elements of the periodic table. This video is continuation of it. Contents of previous uploaded video. A simple way to understand and memorize the valency of first 20 elements of the periodic table. We have learned that atoms of inert gases which have a completely filled valence, outermost, shell, show little chemical activity. Since the atoms of inert gases are very stable, we conclude that the atoms having a duplet or octet configuration are very stable and unreactive. The atoms of remaining elements reacts, combine chemically, as a tendency to attain this stability, that is, a completely filled valence shell, or we can say to attain a noble gas configuration. This is done by redistribution of valence electrons so that each atom is left with a stable electronic configuration, duplet or octet. This is done by gaining, losing or sharing valence electrons forming chemical bond. The chemical bond is the electrostatic force of attraction which holds ions or atoms together in a molecule. We have learned about why atoms of some elements accept electrons, while some give out electrons and others share electrons. There are three ways in which atoms can achieve a stable configuration, that is, what we call types of chemical bonds. First ionic, or electrovalent, bond. Second covalent, or molecular, bond and Third coordinate, or dative, bond First ionic, or electrovalent, bond The chemical bond which is formed by transfer of one or more electrons from one atom to the other is called as ionic, or bond The chemical compounds formed as a result of the transfer of electrons from one atom of an element to one atom of another element are called ionic or electrovalent, compounds. We have learned that atom of some elements, generally metals with one, two or three valence electrons, have the tendency to lose that electrons and form positive ion called as cation and atom of some elements, generally nonmetals with five, six or seven valence electrons, have the tendency to gain one, two or three electrons depending upon the octet requirement and form negative ion called as anion. Let us understand how a neutral magnesium atom changes to magnesium ion by losing two electrons to other atoms acquiring the electronic configuration of the nearest inert gas. One more example of a neutral chlorine atom changing to chloride ion by gaining one electron from other atom. The bond, force of attraction, which is formed by this give, lose, and take, gain, relationship between cation and anion is called as ionic or electrovalent bond and the compound formed is called as ionic or electrovalent compound. In general, bonds formed between metals and non-metals are ionic, or electrovalent. Let us understand this with examples. Example 1, Orbit Structure of Electrovalent Bonding in Sodium Chloride If sodium and chlorine were to react, 
the electron lost by sodium atom could be taken up by chlorine atom having a give and take relationship between them. Sodium and chloride ions, Na plus and Cl minus, being oppositely charged, attract each other and are held by strong electrostatic force of attraction to exist as sodium chloride, NaCl, resulting in formation of an ionic or electrovalent bond. Sodium chloride exists as aggregates of oppositely charged ions in definite geometrical shape. The number of cations and anions in a compound and the magnitude of electric charge on them is such that the positive and negative charges balance each other. As a result, an ionic compound is electrically neutral though ions are charged. The crystalline structure has negative ions arranged around a positive ion and positive ions arranged around a negative ion. Crystalline structure depends on the size of ions and magnitude of electric charge on the ions. The compound formed will have entirely different properties than its constituent elements. Here, the element sodium, a highly reactive metal, reacts with element chlorine, a poisonous gas to give sodium chloride which we consume and is required in our daily diet. Example 2, orbit structure of formation of magnesium chloride, MgCl2, molecule. If magnesium and chlorine were to react, the two electrons lost by magnesium atom could be taken up by chlorine, one electron by each chlorine atom, having a give and take relationship between them. Magnesium and chloride ions, being oppositely charged, attract each other and are held by strong electrostatic force of attraction to exist as magnesium chloride, resulting in formation of an ionic or electrovalent bond. Here, for each magnesium atom forming a magnesium ion, there must be two chlorine atoms to form two chloride ions. Thus, the ratio of magnesium to chloride ions in magnesium chloride is 1 to 2, so the molecular formula of the compound magnesium chloride is MgCl2. Molecular formula can be easily written using the valency of constituent atoms of the molecule. second covalent, or molecular, bond. The chemical bond that is formed between two combining atoms by mutual sharing of one or more pairs of electrons is called a covalent, or a molecular, bond. The compound formed due to covalent, or a molecular, bond is called a covalent compound. The atoms of all non-metals, having five, six or seven electrons including carbon which has four and hydrogen which is just one electron in the outermost shell, do not favor the loss of its electrons due to energy considerations and thus the transfer of electrons is not possible. Therefore, atoms of non-metals can attain stability, duplet or octet configuration, with atoms of same or other non-metals only by mutually sharing one or more pairs of electrons. So. Whenever a non-metal combines with another non-metal, to attain stable configuration, the sharing of electrons takes place between their atoms and a covalent bond is formed. The molecule formed due to the sharing of electrons is called a covalent molecule. Covalent bonds can be formed between two atoms of two different non-metals, example, HCl, and also of the same non-metal, example, H2. Covalent bonds are of following three types. First single covalent bond. Second double covalent bond. Third triple covalent bond. First single covalent bond. A single covalent bond is formed by the sharing of one pair of electrons between the atoms, each atom contributing one electron. Example 1, formation of hydrogen molecule, H2. A hydrogen atom has one electron in its only shell, K shell. It needs one more electron to attain duplet configuration. To meet this need, 
hydrogen atom shares its electron with another hydrogen atom. So, two hydrogen atoms share their only electron to form a diatomic molecule of hydrogen. Thus, one electron each is contributed by the two atoms of hydrogen, and the resulting pair of electrons is mutually shared by both the atoms to form a hydrogen, H2 molecule. The shared pair of electrons constitute a single bond between the two hydrogen atoms. A single covalent bond is denoted by a short line between the two atoms. Likewise, molecules of chlorine, hydrogen chloride, water, ammonia, methane and carbon tetrachloride are examples of single covalent bonds. Example 2, Formation of Chlorine Molecule, Cl2. A chlorine atom has seven electron in its valence shell, M shell. It needs one more electron to attain octet configuration. Chlorine atom shares its one electron with another chlorine atom and the resulting pair of electrons is mutually shared by both the atoms to form a diatomic chlorine, Cl2 molecule. The shared pair of electrons constitute a single bond between the two chlorine atoms. Example 3, Formation of Methane Molecule, CH4. When carbon combines with hydrogen, some valence electrons will be shared among themselves. Carbon which is short of four electrons for octet will share four electrons and hydrogen which is short of one electron for duplet will share one electron. For carbon atom to share all four electrons, four atoms of hydrogen will be required as one hydrogen atom can share only one electron. Second double covalent bond, a double covalent bond is formed by the sharing of two pairs of electrons between the atoms, each atom contributing two electrons. A double covalent bond is actually a combination of two single bonds, so it is represented by putting two short lines between the two atoms. Example, formation of oxygen molecule, O2. An oxygen atom has six electrons in its valence shell, L shell. It needs two more electrons to attain octet configuration. To meet this need, oxygen atom shares its two electrons with another oxygen atom. So, two oxygen atoms share their two electrons each to form a diatomic molecule of oxygen. Thus, two electrons are contributed by each of the two atoms of oxygen and the resulting pairs of electrons is mutually shared by both the atoms to form an oxygen, O2 molecule. The shared pairs of electrons constitute a double bond between the two oxygen atoms. A double covalent bond is denoted by two short lines between the two atoms. Third triple covalent bond. A triple covalent bond is formed by the sharing of three pairs of electrons between the atoms, each atom contributing three electrons. A triple covalent bond is actually a combination of three single bonds, so it is represented by putting three short lines between the two atoms. Example, formation of nitrogen molecule, N2 A nitrogen atom has five electrons in its valence shell, L shell. It needs three more electrons to attain octet configuration. To meet this need, nitrogen atom shares its three electrons with another nitrogen atom. So, two nitrogen atoms share their three electrons to form a diatomic molecule of nitrogen. Thus, three electrons are contributed by each of the two atoms of nitrogen, and the resulting pairs of electrons is mutually shared by both the atoms to form a nitrogen, N2 molecule. The shared pairs of electrons constitute a triple bond between the two nitrogen atoms. A triple covalent bond is denoted by three short lines between the two atoms. Some molecules have a combination of single as well as double or triple bond. Benzene, C6H6. Ethine, C2H2. Third coordinate, or dative bond. The chemical bond that is formed between two atoms by a pair of electrons, provided entirely by one of the combining atoms, 
but shared by both the atoms so as to complete their duplet or octets, is called a coordinate, or dative, bond. Formation of ammonium ion, NH4+, hydronium ion, H3O+, etc. are examples of coordinate, or dative, bond. Certain atoms which have fulfilled octets can donate their valence electrons which are not involved in bond formation, to other atoms, which are short of electrons. These donated pair of electrons are therefore, lone pair of electrons and are shared by both the atoms. The donor, giver, atom must have at least one lone pair of electrons and the acceptor, receiver, atom should be short of at least a lone pair of electrons. Let us understand this with an example. Example, formation of ammonium ion, NH4+. The nitrogen atom in an ammonia molecule contains a lone pair of valence electrons. The hydrogen ion, H+, which has no electrons in the outermost orbit accepts the lone pair of electrons from the nitrogen atom. Hence it acquires a duplet configuration forming a coordinate bond between the atoms. Now this pair of electrons is shared by both nitrogen and hydrogen. The linkage forms an ammonium ion having a single positive charge. This coordinate bond is represented by arrow between the atoms. Hydrogen ion has only one proton and no electrons. So, the overall charge is positive and is represented as plus sign on hydrogen symbol H, that is, H+. The ammonium ion formed is having one proton more than the number of electrons, and is shown by plus sign, that is, NH4+. Thanks for watching this video. For more videos on physics, chemistry and mathematics. Check my YouTube channel, Easy Learning. Suggestions can be mailed at ag.easylearning at gmail.com.